on its annual uh, August recess. Representatives like Susan Dale Benny that go back to their district. For her, that means Whatcom County, Skagit, Snohomish, and King County as well. And she's here in studio this morning to talk a little bit more uh, about what the president just said. So you heard most of his speech there. Um, are you surprised? What's your reaction to what he just said? I, I think we were expecting to hear a little bit more about uh, potential new laws, right? Changes. And he didn't I, really talk about that. He didn't talk about some of the most important work that we can do, which is pass legislation for background checks um, to close the Charleston loophole to um, ban assault weapons and ban high capacity magazines. Um, we saw in the Dayton, Dayton shooting, shooting mm -hmm. the law enforcement responded within a minute, they said, mm -hmm. and still nine people were killed and many injured. And um, so law enforcement responded as quickly as you could imagine. Um, but when someone has a high capacity magazine like he did, he was able to shoot yeah. so many people so quickly. And so those are real steps that we can take. That's legislation we can pass. In fact, we passed some of that legislation in the House. It's just sitting right at the door of the Senate. Mitch McConnell could take it up and pass that, pass background checks and close the Charleston loophole right now, and the president can sign that bill. And we've seen public pressure when John Stewart took sort of face of the 9-11 fund, the pressure that it ended up putting on, on Senator McConnell, and, and things got put in motion. With all of you on recess right now, what do you think it would take for Mitch McConnell to say, everyone come back to D.C. and let's move forward in some way on this? Um, you know, we passed legislation in the House, like I said, that's sitting yeah. there. So the Senate could come back instantly to do that if Mitch McConnell said so and the president um, did as well. Um, this is an incredibly important issue. We've been working on this for years and yet Republicans have refused to take up the legislation and bring it up for a vote. And this is a this is not a hard thing to do there is and there's more legislation we could do beyond that but the the two things sitting at the the door of the senate right now would be very very important and could be passed right away so the president did talk about you know directing the department of justice to work with federal local and state agencies to you know help with mental health he talked a lot about mental health issues um reducing violent video games you know those sorts of things what what, what are your thoughts on on working with that in terms of reducing the number of shootings that are happening in this country. Well, I think the president also needs to take responsibility for his words. His words matter. He has said racist and hateful things about members of our own communities, about immigrants. Um, so his language also has, when he talks about people coming together, he has used divisive language, hateful language. So if he wants to make a difference too, he can start right there and be the person who calls out hatred when it's there as opposed to um, using hateful language himself. Mm -hmm. um, there's a huge opportunity when he talks about a culture. He has been promoting a divisive culture, a hateful culture. So he can make a difference but in his own words and his own actions. We wish you, we had you for longer, but we know you're short on time and we're short on time before a commercial. We know you're also in town and you want to talk to people in your districts. Can you tell us very briefly briefly when and how they can make that happen. Yep, so I have a big district. I've been throughout the district. I just did a, a town hall in Point Roberts, mm -hmm. um, which is the very northwestern part of my district mm -hmm. um, on Saturday. And we have more coming up, one in Lake Stevens this coming Saturday. Really want to hear from folks throughout the district um, and meet with as many people as possible so we can bring those voices back to Washington, D.C. to continue to, to make a difference and do work for the people of our community. So you're calling these uh, events Susan Shows Up. Uh, this yeah. one, the latest one, will be at Cavalera High School in Lake Stevens. Yes. Thank you very much, Representative Delvin. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you Have so much. We'll be